Good morning, YouTube. This is Shayla from Making Lemonade from Lemons. And I just wanted to show you a couple of things this morning, update you guys. Okay, so if you look, here's one of my plants that the um, sucker broke on it. And you can see that since I've planted it, it's starting to, um, the leaves are starting to green up again. Um, they were all wilted just like these over here. And now they're, some of them are starting to perk back up. They're starting to get new growth, which is right there, which is awesome. The tomatoes still look good. So I'm really happy. It looks like it's set root. So, um, and then right there's where, right there's where all the birds have been eating from the bird feeder and spilling bird seed into here. So I don't know what kind of seeds are growing, but something's growing. And then here's the other one that broke and it's starting to look really good. Um, those were just flowers. So it set fruit and everything. Um, so, so my little, my little broken suckers are looking good. Um, I've got, as you see, this is, this is my wild flowers. It's wild back there for sure. Um, as you see, I don't know if you can, if you guys can see that real good, but that is pumpkin. So my pumpkin my pumpkin plants that are over there are all the way over here now so i've also and my wa my watermelon plants are like right over by that flower so i haven't been messing in that area that's part of the reason that it, it is as wild as it is over there. But um, they're climbing up that um, that fence also. So they're just spreading out everywhere, which is fine. I didn't, I didn't know what this space was going to look like anyways because I just threw out wildflower seeds. So, I was going to kind of let it grow wild anyways. And, um, I do have some barrage right there. And that plant that's laying over is barrage. And then I have these little, I don't even know what that is. If you guys know what these little flowers are, you know, let me know if you guys know what those are. Um... So, um, it's a lot of just grasses and stuff like that here. But if you look over here, see if I can get you in the, in a good light. Um, I still have nasturtium that is blooming. Um, even in all this heat, the petal, the foliage doesn't look the greatest. Some of it's yellow and looks like it's. Um, you know, some of the stuff is starting to die off, but, um, but the, it's still blooming, it's still growing, so, yay. And then I have all these, this is probably the best looking <laughs> of my wildflowers, um, they did better than all the others. Um, my cosmos over there looks good, but it's got a lot of weeds and stuff in amongst it. But I love these. I love those little flowers right there. Those are coreopsis, and I love those. They're beautiful. Um, and then, of course, the rutabecchia are pretty, too. And then my sunflowers here. Hey, Mr. Bumblebee. Um, you know they're still enduring a little bit of pecking from the from the birds, but 
not as much since they found the bird feeder. And then there's my Velvet Queen sunflower, and that one is gorgeous. So um, I can't remember what kind these are, but they didn't grow. These didn't grow as strong as the Velvet Queen did. Um, I'll try some different types next year, but I, I, at this point, I'm preferring the Velvet Queen. And then I have a lone poppy here and there. Every once in a while, they pop up. Um, and then I see I have a handful of purple hull pink eyed peas. And um, I'll show you something that I haven't shown you guys. Um, so my dad wants to put out another round of tomatoes. So these are going to be going in the ground next week. And so um, I'm trying to harden them off. I should have started them off just outside and everything, but um, part of the reason that I didn't was because of how hot it's been, and I just didn't know how they would do. So, um, th these right here are mine. These are my um, microtom tomatoes that I'm going to grow inside, um, and then this is all chamomile which I had absolutely no luck with um, outside but I put it in this pot because it's a self-watering pot so we'll see how that goes I'm hoping to get some chamomile I see a few blooms so hopefully I'll actually get something but anyways some of the um, some of the leaves on these tomatoes look a little rough but it's because I didn't realize um, <laughs> I kind of let them get away they I didn't realize how tall they were and they were um, the leaves were touching the lights um, the grow lights that I had so um, so that's one of the reasons that the some of the leaves look a little bit uh, worse for wear. So at this point, I have to bring them outside for light anyways, but I'm hardening them off, so they're only going to be out here for a little bit, and then I'm going to take them back inside. And I want to show you guys something real quick here, if you can, if you can see it. Look. At all those I guess those are moths I don't know if those are moths or butterflies but anyways I've got a swallowtail that's hanging around over there somewhere and then we have some of the I don't know what kind they're called what kind they are if you guys know let me know they're the um, shush frogs <laughs> Um, they're the black with the blue. I don't know what kind those are. Um, anyways. Um, and then I think I've got a couple of the cabbage moths flying around. But, um, they're probably f from my kale plants. But I also want to show you what I found. Oops, sorry. I want to show you what I found the other day whenever we were putting up these stakes for the tomatoes. So up underneath those um, marigolds that are in the same grow bag with the, um, say hi, Evan. Hi. <laughs> in the same grow bag with that tomato plant. Um, and it's right beside the, t the strawberries that I had planted from seed. 
There's a spider web. I don't want to disturb you, spider, because you might eat some mosquitoes, but I'm trying to show you guys. All right, if you guys can see all that, up underneath the marigolds, I found those. Strawberries. I might have some strawberries <laughs> this year. Um, I was not expecting that from these plants because, number one, they grew super slow from seeds. I only have a couple of plants in there that really did very much of anything. And as you see, some of my plants actually still are really small. So, um, I wasn't expecting anything, but looks like I might have some strawberries. Not many, but a few. Hey, I'll take it. I grew them from seeds. <laughs> and then, like I showed you, my handful of purple hull pink eye peas. Um, that's all from this. Um, this bag. So all those are my pole beans. They have not started really to flower yet. Um, and they seem to be thriving and putting on more growth and everything, even though all the Japanese beetles, um, which we are going to pick off, um, and I'm gonna, since, since they're not blooming yet, I'm gonna spray some neem oil on it, um, and just try really hard not to get it on the peas, because the peas are blooming. Um, but, uh, as you see, I will have plenty of purple hole pink eye peas here in the near future because they are just loaded with peas so I'm really excited about that um, basically I just planted half of um, a 200 gallon grow bag with the purple hull pink eyed peas and I planted the other half with the pole beans and like I said the pole beans still haven't started blooming yet um, so I'm hoping that we'll start getting blooms here soon um, my mom and dad are, are getting are getting beans off of their bush beans that they planted about a week before I planted mine so um, so hopefully, I know that generally it takes pole beans about 10 days, um, 10 days longer to produce, but anyways, um, so I'm hoping to get some of those soon. And then of course, all of my tomatillas and everything look great. Um, one thing that I want to show you guys too, um, and ask you guys your opinions, I think that okay so here's my here are my pumpkins yes they had some damage from um they had some damage from um the japanese beetles before um before the japanese beetles found the pole beans but. Um, but since then, they have grown, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, oh, there it is, watch, move your hand, there you go, um, that's been growing, yes, this one over here is growing and it's turning, and then I've got some more that are back in there. There's a couple. There's one really small one in there. You probably can't see it because the lighting and everything. But there's a really small one in there. And then there's a big, bigger one that's in that area over there. Um, it's The vines are looking better over there. And the vines up here that are trellised look really good. Um, and the vines that are over there look really good so um, you guys give me your opinions I've never grown 
watermelons. I've never grown cantaloupes. I've never grown pumpkins. This is my first time for all of it. So if you guys could give me an idea, do you think you, do you think it's heat? I know um, a couple of leaves have powdery mildew, but I don't see a lot of it. I see more damage than I see um, than I see powdery mildew. And do you think that even though the leaves over here are dying, that all the other is still getting the nutrition? You guys let me know, okay? If you if you guys know anything about pumpkins and watermelons and all that kind of stuff, um, let me know. I still have one one cantaloupe that's gonna be ripe soon. Um, actually, two. There's another one right there. Um, my watermelons seem to be flowering again. So we'll see what happens there. But anyways, um, I just thought I'd bring you along this morning while I look at my plants and everything. And um, So anyways, if you guys do have any suggestions about my pumpkins and that kind of stuff, if you'd just let me know. I just haven't sprayed any chemicals or anything like that. I wanted to do everything, just let it go this year um, and see what happens kind of thing. I'm not, like I said, it's my first year of growing any of it. Look, Evan. See? The, it's, the watermelon is blooming again. Um, anyways, so if you guys could let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, and if you like the video, if you would just click like. Um, if you don't haven't subscribed, if you would subscribe. And if you want notifications of when I put out videos, just click the notification bell. And um, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.